sign gate. And the good thing here is that it's less humid than Tel Aviv, but guys, I'm sweating as hell. Um, thanks God that not a lot of the Jews, oh, I mean, thanks God. It's not so crowded now because it's too hot for them to go. That most of them are trying to stay in air conditioned places. And some of them will be, as I believe, at the tomb of King David as well. You will see that they are mourning grief. Um, they will sit on the floor. They didn't drink and didn't eat. And that's for 25 hours. They are not wearing leather shoes because leather is considered to be like a very con convenient. Uh, um, oh, a bit of um, shoes. It's like a luxury. And a lot of them will be with sandals or without shoes. Um, no sex. And in front of you, it's the Dormition Church. This is House of Mary. That's where she fell asleep slash died, all according to your uh, belief. And it's supposed to be closed yet for the like last few years. They will open it soon, and you will be able to enter one of the most beautiful churches ever. Meanwhile, yes, you know, you can go into my YouTube channel. I have 20,000 videos, and you, can be, you will be able to see um, videos about that as well. Now, the room, the Last Supper, is at the second floor of King David too, which is another uh, place of uh, arguments. Everyone wanted that building for themselves. The Christian wanted that building for themselves at um, the 15th century. The Jews wanted the building for themselves at the same time. They went to them, uh, Muslims control toward the city and the Muslims said, go away dear Christians, uh, Jesus, Isa is our prophet, go away dear Jews, King David is our prophet, then 1948 it was a mosque. When we came back in 1947, uh, 48, we uh, turned that place, the tomb of King David, into a synagogue and sadly we didn't bring back uh, the room, the Last Supper, Sanaculum, to the Christians. This is one of the things that I didn't like. Then uh, I won't be able to talk because they are they're praying and they're suffering. I just ate and drank, but they cannot. Then uh, I will try to take a video. I hope that it won't uh, will be yeah, it won't be difficult for them. I'm sure that it's going to be less crowded, mainly because it's because um, um, it's the hottest time of the day. And let us enter to the man department. You will see the first part is the synagogue, and the second part is the uh, tomb of King David. They're not supposed to sit on the chair, but they're sitting to see how he is not. Everyone must enter with a keeper on their head, and mostly now it's a tourist area. And that's where the tourists will go out. A lot of them are tourists, few of them are not. You will recognize it by mostly by the people who are now sitting on benches on the floor. This is half of the tomb of Queen David, the second half of the month. And if we're here, 
And let's climb up to the room, the last supper. Just, you know, for a few minutes now, I'm not going to talk about the budget. I have so many videos about it. You don't need me for that. This is just the tour room. It takes you to those places. And in the room, the last supper, you will see mostly um, Christians. Thirty minutes, almost thirty minutes. There's so many names to that uh, room, the upper room, the Sanakalum, Kanakalum there. Uh, room of the Pentecost. There's so many things that happen in that room, but this is the entrance to it, and that for King David. That room belongs to Israel now. The Christians got, I think, seven times. They can actually pray here seven times a year. Remember the Yellow Vest? In those days, I'm not working. I'm here to protect the Christians from those fanatic people. She asked me about the tomb of David. Uh, the Dormition Church. And the room is empty. Wow. It's so empty. It's so sad. And this is the cat of the room. And the cat of the room is um, a one-armed cat. You can play with it, with her. But you must know that in so many churches, you will find cats in Israel because the cats are eating mice. And in the church, there's a lot of bread. In that case, it's a win-win situation. You can see their mask. The mihrab that tells you where Mecca is, the windows, Muslim windows. Now it's going to be a little bit noisy because the, there is a tour guide that speaks here. It will be difficult to hear it. So we want to talk about fanatic Jews. Then look at the windows and look at the holes. This was made a month ago by Fanatic Jew, and the same one broke that window. We're talking about something there from the 16th and up century. I'm so against it. We have a million things to talk about it. Um, Doubty Thomas was here, they elected the 12th, uh, the new apostle after Judas. Um, Pentecost, uh, washing the feet. And of course, the Last Supper. For me, that room, it's the first church and the center of Christianity. And that was a nice tour. Ah, let me show you one more thing. Where are the toilets? Where you can refill your bottles. And that's going to be the end. Just next to the toilet. Da -da -dum. Remember, you can subscribe to my channel. And if you want to support it, because every time that I'm taking a tour, I'm not working. Uh, at the description, you will find PayPal or um, buy me a coffee link and 
just when you push the like next to it you will see a small it's like a heart with a thing dollar sign in it it's called super thanks and you can donate money through there too and here you can refill the bottles it's purified water and it's a cooler and I don't, I'm not going to you with the toilet but the toilet are right here women and men now that was a pleasure a tour of 33 minutes I hope that you will follow me to other videos as well then thank you for